Today we're going to be doing a bit of experimenting and see if we can actually add in social media icons into our Squarespace email campaigns template. So I've set up a demo template here. We can see to start off with there doesn't seem to be any options to add in social media icons. I look at the masthead or the header section of the email template and there doesn't seem to be anything in there. So I started looking at plan B. Could I highlight these and make these links to social media accounts? And crazily, Squarespace have not allowed us to turn these into links. So there's nothing in the header section that we can really do. We can obviously create our social media icons as text and then link them up that way. But I was asked on our YouTube channel in the comment section on a previous video whether there was a way of doing it with social media icons. And there might be. If I click on the plus icon here, I can add in a set number of options. So the only one that's really applicable is the images. We could add in buttons, but then that could look really blocky and very busy. Or as I mentioned, we could add it in text. I'm going to add in images. So obviously we don't want this to be one link to say our Twitter or YouTube channels. What we need to do is go to the banner section on the right and then change that to grid. What we can do now is add our images. So I've already had a quick go at this, meaning that we don't have to go and find these images. I'm not particularly a fan of these examples, but it'll give you a good idea of how we can do it as a grid blog. We could also upload very simple icons on transparent backgrounds and this would work. There would be a couple of caveats with the spacing though. But if I add these for now, and just hold on a few seconds whilst it uploads, there we go. We've got our social media icons. If I click on the pencil icon to edit, I can crop them in if I want to. Also, I can go through and change the click through URL and add an alt text for each of these icons. That means that we can have that image linking to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You're not limited to these social media accounts. So if you wanted to put LinkedIn, for example, there won't be a problem. Okay. So once we've done that, we can look at spacing. So we can look at changing the image size to large and that will give them that dovetail look. So you could again choose photos instead of icons. For example, Twitter, it could be a hand holding the phone with Twitter feed on there. I'm not saying these are perfect solutions, but they are workarounds of making a more visually appealing link to your social media channels. I've also got this down arrow and the notification to follow us on social media. Our final step now is to see if we can just reduce that height. So if I go to spacing and then click on the three dots, I can change up to small, which defaults to zero, or I could change them manually. So if you wanted a little bit more space for the text below, you can just increase the bottom margin, which is quite nice with the Squarespace email campaigns editor. So there we go. That's what I was setting out to achieve is that grid structure to our social media icons. Obviously, if you had five or six icons or you wanted to put an option to email us, for example, you can even create your own custom graphics in Photoshop or Canva or Illustrator. It's a workaround. It's a hack, but it does work. We can get images to social media accounts. What we could also look to do is change our image sizes to be much smaller. So 25% seems to be the lowest it'll go. I'll see if I can put it in manually to go say 10%, but no, it locks at 25%. So that's the smallest we can get our icons to appear. So what we could do is put a image, which we could create in something like Canva, add our social media icons in the center and then have transparent frame around it or the same color as the background area. So they could be transparent PNGs or, or in this case, on a solid white background. And the only thing we won't be able to do is to squeeze these logos much, much closer together. 
Well, maybe we can. Let's have a look. If we change the horizontal alignment to left, still need that center, otherwise this one's going to be too offset to the left. Padding between sections is small. And center padding is small as well. Yeah, that's as small as we can get them close together. It's because of the ratio of the images and the size of them. If we make the images larger, they will expand to fill those white gaps. But what we can't do is shuffle them all across to the left hand side by the looks of it. So the horizontal alignment doesn't shuffle these across so there's no spacing and then there's a big gap on the right, which is something I was looking for. And then the vertical alignment doesn't come into effect because we can see the bounding box. They're already expanding to fill from top to bottom. Okay, so that's all we can do with it. Now, if they were on transparent backgrounds, there would be a lot of spacing between the icons, which might be a little bit jarring to some. I think for me, that type of effect could work quite nicely. And it's just a case of taking a bizarre limitation with Squarespace in terms of why it doesn't have this feature in there already and making it your own. Hope this has helped. You might be disappointed at the end of this video, hoping for something more traditional in terms of social media icons. But please leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts or if you found a workaround that I haven't thought of in terms of how we can put our social media icons in a Squarespace email campaigns template. Cheers, catch you next time.